Alright, welcome back everyone to another Texan video. Uh, I'm going to show you how to add some water to your game. With a ready-made prefab that I made, uh, well, it's a sort of tweaked version of the daytime water uh, prefab, just to make it look a little bit more better. Uh, it's a, this is a, just a quick, quick tutorial just to show you about the prefab. You can download, download it in the link in the description. Uh, so I'm just going to drag this. Okay, basically you're gonna import this island water prefab into the project view. Just import it, just drag it into the project view. And you should have all these settings ready. Okay? Once you get that, I'm gonna drag it into the scene view. And now you have this kind of real water in the game. Now we're gonna compare the two waters with this one and the other one which is unedited. So let me just find the other one. Is it, yeah, it's, no, something like, because I'll just show you the default settings it was, which did, which did not really look good. Okay, it's this one. Let me just drag it in there. Let me move it. And we're going to compare with the one I tweaked with the original one. So let me just increase this wave scale. To almost the same. Oh, never mind. Let's just play. Wait. So let me just show you both of them in one camera angle, and just look carefully. So as you can see, there are waves for it, but it's not really exactly realistic as the water is just flowing, and there is no really much of physics on the waves, where it's not where the water level is not really rising. If you can see from here. The water is not exactly rising and going down. Okay, so let's look at our point from the game. So if you look here, the, with the modified version, the textures look really realistic and looks much better. And you, you would think that this is actually real water or recorded from a movie or something. And over here with the unedited version, it pretty much looks like a video, a classic an old video game which is just it just really it doesn't really look good I mean yeah there are waves in this but the color somehow reminds you of a basic game whereas over there it looks much more realistic depending on daylight now we can modify the colors of this that's for sure so I'm gonna remove the original one and we can change the color by going down to refraction color and you can change the color of the water. But note, if you put it to light blue, you're not going to get pretty results. So make sure you put it at around dark blue for the best results. Because if I put it to light blue, that's it. Let's test it, okay? Stupid robots. Oh great, there's a fly on my screen. Let's just go there. Now if you can see, it doesn't really look that well. I mean, if you can just see it for yourself. So that's why I'm not going to add it like that. Instead, the color is going to be a little bit more dark blue um, and the wave scale. Now, wave scale is also important because if your wave scale is at its lowest, you will barely see any waves in your game. If you can see over here, just a few. It's like it's a calm, it's a calm kind of water, but if your wave scale is really high, it will take some, like a lot of amount of RAM, but it's worth it just to make your game look good. If you can see, really nice. Now let me show you an example in the game I'm already making. Uh, yeah, save this for later. Uh, let me just go to my second level of my game. You start off in a jet and it's at night, okay? So let's start off in full screen. And you're in the jet. Oh, great, I just went through. I had to fix the GUI. You have the flashlight with you as well. Ship is landing. And you get out. Okay? So I've added some light as well. Now if you look down there, oh great, the color of the water has also changed with it. Uh, there is also some water there, but it was ori originally supposed to be a different color. Just hold on a sec. 
Where the hell are they? Okay. Select the color. Select it around dark blue. Mm. Around there should do. Let's play it again. Just wait till the ship is done with this. I'll show you how to do this in a while. For the ship to automatically... Um, well, like you're inside the ship and all that. But anyways, uh, let me just go down like that. And just look closely at the water. It looks realistic. I mean, that looks amazing. Although if I shoot at it, nothing really happens. But still. And also there's a flashlight in the game because there are some... Uh, dark areas you will encounter the staircase however is like really big that you will have to jump on them so yeah that sucks okay so if you can see there are also some flashing lights in the game just look closely you will notice some flashing lights over there now anyways I have to add a flashlight to the game so that you can see more clearly and uh, no, I did not make this level, okay? It was included with the FPS um, tutorial. But I just wanted to tweak it up a bit by removing the lights. Okay, so that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why don't you subscribe for more? Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.